How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another commentary. Today we're going to be talking about the MCC Insider Flight 2 recap. So everything that 343 found out about the most recent flight of the MCC. We're going to give you some details, break it down, and also how to sign up for the MCC Insider Program. If you're still not a member of that, you can still join in. Link will be in the description down below for that. We'll be going over some reviews of the information that 343 got, some uh, roadmap, a little bit of a roadmap that they're looking forward to do for the MCC, and also some information on the next flight so stay tuned throughout the video guys we'll give you some more information right there and also just real quick everybody if you enjoy these kind of news update videos and want to see more content like this on the channel please make sure to tap that like button it lets me know you want to see more content like this and let's get right into the video here so in case you didn't know what flight 2 was to test out were the dedicated servers for the game uh flight 1 didn't run with on dedicated servers only peer to peer but that was really just testing the matchmaking of getting people's and getting people in and out of games this flight was to refine what they found out with the matchmaking from flight one, but mainly to test out the dedicated servers that are gonna be for North America and West Europe. They do also mention in the um, Halo Waypoint update that they did have some additional goals of how to refine the experience of this insider program, how to incentivize more people to join in and to continue building on what they've already had for this insider program, how just to make the whole experience a little bit better. Which first of all, I think they did a great job at uh, changing at the time zones when you can play. The first flight, I actually wasn't able to join in on because uh, the times that they had during my working hours, so I wasn't able to play it at all. Luckily for this time, they had a morning and an evening time, which I think was great for this. And it was uh, over, what, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I believe, and uh, different playlists for each day as well. Sadly, uh, I wish I was able to jump in on all of those different days, but, you know, time constraints and stuff, I wasn't able to do it. I was only able to get one day in, which I streamed on my Twitch channel. If you want to check that out, link in the description down below. So how does 343 feel about flight number two? Well, they say it was a success. When it comes to matchmaking, the times were increased, people were able to join matches, and even with the reduced population because of the insider program, there were people were still able to find big team battle matches on the big team battle day and so that really helped show that yes even with low player counts they can still find matches within reasonable amount of time which is fantastic and also from my experience that the uh the servers were running pretty well the up the tick rate from 30 hertz to 60 hertz essentially meaning that the information being sent to the server and back to you the speed of that was doubled and so i found that a lot of hit detection and uh the gameplay was just a lot snappier felt a lot better a lot more responsive and so I mean, it's looking good for MCC right now. On the Waypoint update here, it does show some graphs showing uh, people's, uh, in this form of survey that was given to people who were part of this flight about their experience with it, comparing uh, flight one to two, and oh, it was a universally better experience for every aspect of these flights. So things were really going in the right direction for this game. 343 mentions that the engagement for this was a little bit under what was expected, though I think it's that they were essentially doubled the population of this fight. They were expecting double the uh, people playing it. Though I think it's more just that, you know, people are gonna jump in that first one. And so you're gonna see really high population spike right there. And then you're gonna see a smaller return no matter what really on the second one, just because it's the second one. People are gonna really care about jumping into that first experience. And so then we're going to see necessarily double the amount of engagement, but I think you're going to see probably um, maybe a larger amount, but maybe a lower percentage. So that's why I, that's why three four three said earlier, trying to find ways to incentivize players to you know jump into these flights and play these games. Uh, maybe one would be give them a free emblem for Halo Five or something like that, so they can show off their you know ability that they did something within a different game or maybe some special emblem within the mcc i mean something minor like that can really get people more incentives to do certain things and they also mentioned about latency and connection difficulties which obviously with such a small population of players it's just what's going to happen even though you have dedicated servers it doesn't mean lag is going to be completely removed it just means it's a much more consistent connection 343 does say that they uh, recognized a lot of feedback about the shot registration for Halo 3 and pretty much uni universally everyone was very upbeat about the hit registration. Apparently some of the spawns were kind of messed up a little bit or just not working properly. 343 recognizes this and they're, they believe they've traced down the issue but obviously, you know, test it out a little more before they can say definitively that they got it down properly. Now here's some big news involving the release date of this big update coming to the MCC. Right now, the team is hard at work on wrapping up the number of milestones 
and getting ever closer to the release of the first official update for MCC. And this is in parentheses here, which by the way was officially confirmed to be coming to Game Pass later this year. But before that happens, we're going to have more features and content that needs community testing and input. So like this kind of leads to what I was believing to happen was that this patch was probably going to come out this fall to kind of supplement a official Halo title release. So this is going to be like a revival, rebirth, I guess you can call it of the MCC, trying to fulfill that gap between, you know, Halo 5 and Halo Infinite. But yeah, so we have a release date coming this fall. Obviously nothing confirmed exactly which date, but my guess would probably be October, since that seems to be when 343 likes to release their games. And this other thing here really, you know, gets me interested saying uh, more features and content needs community testing and input. More content coming to the game? I guess maybe that previous video I made talking about uh, possibly a new game being added to the MCC, judging by the UI of uh, what they were showing. Maybe a new game coming in? We don't know, obviously. Nothing's been confirmed by 343, but we can only speculate by more content coming to the MCC. I am all for that. That is exactly what 343 needs to do to revitalize this community for this game and get people back into playing it. And we also have a little bit of details coming for the third flight for the MCC. Really nice thing here saying that the next flight will include the entirety of the MCC. So maybe you can just play whatever you want kind of thing and it will be open to everybody within the Insider program. So if you want to jump in on that, you best be going to the link in the description down below to sign up and try to get in on that because it's going to be open to everybody so you'll be able to play a better, much more refined version of the MCC, have a much better experience so then when that fall update comes or bye guys, you'll be able to jump in and have some fun, get you hyped for it because I'm excited for it. So I know this must have been a bit of a longer video but there's a lot of crucial details that are very important to get down when it comes to talking about the uh, MCC update. If you want to get into the deep dive, extra extra deep dive content, I will leave a link in the description down below for the thread if you want to read every single thing. I gave you the TLDR for the update so you don't have to bother going if you just want to know the basics and what's moving forward, what's really important to know. Leave a comment down below what you guys are looking forward to for flight three when it comes to the MCC. It's gonna be involving the entirety of it and it's gonna be open to everyone as well. So what? let me know what you're gonna be looking forward to the most when it comes to playing this flight program three of the MCC. Please let me know. I do read all the comments and try to apply the most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more content about Halo news, Halo Infinite, uh, I, there were some screenshots posted up on the Halo Waypoint about some more Halo Infinite stuff. Uh, so I want to say more concept art and uh, I'd like to kind of speculate a little bit more on that. So if you want to stay tuned for that video, subscribe. That's the only way you can stay up to date with all the content, right? And we're going to be doing a lot of stuff involving Halo on this channel, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.